welcome back to our another exciting session for hr termination process use case under sap enterprise content management ecm solution by open text so in this series we have uh, just uh, talked about 12 different use cases in the previous sessions and today we'll be focusing on one of the another important process is called hr termination process and how does it impact your your document management system or enterprise content management solution by open text in success factor okay so now let's see go will be going to the system and we will see how does it look like from a system point of view typical hr termination process you might have seen the similar thing in uh, onboarding offboarding offboarding specifically right now we will be seeing from an open text point of view how does it look like and what kind of documents you have to do so let's say hrvp so Tessa Walkers is now going to log into the system and she has to create a termination document for the employee who is retiring and check whether that document is saved in the corresponding employee's workspace or not. Okay, so that is the task here. So as an HRVP, so this person has to go choose a person, Russell Goddard. So she is the person who is leaving the organization or retiring, right? And for this employee, she will be uploading those respective uh, document okay so let's see how does it work So sometimes it's refreshing. Let me refresh this. Right. Yeah. So once you search for this employee, so this is the employee who is going to retire. So you can find all the details of this employee. I repeat it for this employee. This is an employee. I can go for and for this employee again, I can go for the document, whatever is required. So this is basically you know, ideally for this employee will be having a termination information as this person is getting retired. So let me search for that employee's details. Actually, it is not navigating here. This time, let me check it out. Employee files. As usual, you have to go to for this employee and you have to generate the documents the way we have done it. Okay, so this is a task for you. You can check it out. Somehow it is not working here in this uh, platform. Okay, we need to check it out. But uh, follow the same process and you will be able to do it. Okay, so this is a task and you have to tell me whether you are able to do that or not. Okay, so that is the use case number 13. And in the next uh, session, we're talking about the use last use case, that's the record retention process, right? So we'll stop here and we will see further in the next session.